Hello, Toastmasters, honored guests. We have a pretty distant relationship with our food here in this country. <laughs> Children these days identify chicken as breaded cutlets. Beef is a hamburger patty instead of those animals that you moo at out of the car window when you're driving through the country. Even at my house, when I'm preparing dinner, I lovingly separate meat from the bones and cut it into perfect cubes. And then when my wife is happy with her meal, I move on to my kids. <laughs> I think this is kind of dismal, but hope is not lost. There are people out there that are bucking this trend. I am part of about a half dozen whole foods, real foods movements on Twitter. It's actually, it's, it's amazing because we get to use some of the more uh, cutting edge technology to help us remember and learn about the old ways. I thought I was a whole foods person. Uh, but I really got to experience this when I recently went to Ecuador. Because in Ecuador, I got to eat cuy. Now, for those of you who don't know, cuy gets its name from the sound it makes. Wee, 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 wee. You may have heard this before. Has anyone heard this before? No? Maybe in your house? No. Cuy <laughs> is the Ecuadorian's traditional specialty guinea pig. Guinea okay. pig? Guinea pig. <laughs> now, I've been adventurous in the food that I've eaten. I've eaten tripe, liver, mystery meatballs on the street of <laughs> Thailand. I've done it all, but Kui was different, and I'll tell you why. First of all, Kui is served whole. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg in 2011, Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, he made a pledge that he would only eat meat that he himself slaughtered. He likes to do a challenge. I think one year he wore a tie every single day. Now I can share his desire, but for a different reason. Do you know the difference between bone-in chicken breast and skinless, boneless chicken breast at Sobeys? It's 75%. Now I know Mark's not doing that to save a couple of bucks on his grocery bill, but I am. So I've learned to become pretty skilled with a knife. I usually buy big cuts of meat and break it down myself. I buy whole foods and break it down when I have to. Um, so I really shouldn't have been surprised when this thing came to me and smiled at me. Now, hands on and head on is not something that's really uncommon elsewhere in the world, but I have to say the teeth look a little menacing. And when I took my first bite, I had to make them look the other way. <laughs> Second reason that eating kui is a little bit different is that they're really cute. I mean, you can't help but have empathy with something that's cute. Um, on White Coat Black Art this week, Dr. Brian uh, talked about a study that said you should be nice to your doctor because if they like you, then they're more in tune with your pain cues. And if they don't like you, they'll chalk it up to whining. Now, guinea pigs are cute. I know they are. They're fuzzy. I mean, I remember the first time that I ate Bambi. I remember the first time that I ate Thumper. There's a reason that PETA tries to convert you to vegetarianism with Babe rather than a full-grown hog. That cute factor is always there. Um, but when it comes to the guinea pig, uh, it's a, one of those things that's really hard to get out of your mind. But, uh, and I know it's one of those things that's traumatic for kids. I didn't tell my three-year-old daughter that I ate a guinea pig because I just couldn't bring myself to, uh, to see that look on her face. Couldn't, couldn't disappoint her, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but that little white lie of omission was worth it because I have to tell you, the third reason that Kui is different is that it's really delicious. <laughs> I, I have to liken it to a couple of my favorite things. First of all, the arms, the legs, they're kind of like chicken wings. They're about the same size. You get to bite into them, they've got crispy skin and juicy meat. <laughs> and the second part is, uh, a lot of the meat is also on the back, so when you peel off the skin, oh. it reminds you of my favorite Christmas treat. No, gingerbread houses are my second favorite Christmas treat. My favorite is the turkey. 
when it's when the when the turkey is cooling, there are two things you will always find. One is me in the kitchen picking at the turkey neck, uh, and the other is my father trying to get as much of the stuffing towards the table. <laughs> the spine has this long strings of juicy, delicious meat, and I have to say, even though it seems a little, you may feel a little squeamish, I highly recommend trying it. <laughs> now I can tell from some of the looks I'm getting that you guys are wondering if I'm ever gonna try Kui again. Let's just put it this way. I have my pet smart loyalty card. All I need is an ex explanation from my daughter about why her guinea pig is smaller than it was last week. <laughs> <laughs>